guys, it's me, Risa. Welcome to my kitchen. It's dinner time, and one of my favorite things to eat as a high protein, low fat meal is chicken, barbecue chicken. And I'm lucky enough that my husband is going to barbecue it for me. And when he can't, I have this amazing rock grill. Um, you can see it's well used. On one side, it has the ridges. On the other side, it is flat. And I just used it to make my tuna patties. So stay tuned for that recipe. I've been busy in my kitchen making tuna patties, an apple pear sauce, and I made a broccoli soup today. And now I'm making barbecue chicken. And you can see that I have a lot of chicken, about nine or 10 pieces because I'm gonna have it for several days. Um, and what's great about it is I could put it in a baggie and freeze it once it's cooked and then use it in my salads or make a burger, make one of my mug muffins you can check out and make a burger or, um, you know, to add it to different uh, recipes, quiches, anything, okay, frittatas. So I've just taken it and I've cut it in half. I like to butterfly it. So um, then it's just easier and flatter and thinner to cook, okay? So that's my trick. I like to make it easier for my husband to cook, easier for myself to cook. All these pieces that are nice and thin, all right? So that is one of my huge tips that I like to do and then it cooks just a lot faster and even. All right, so what are we gonna add? One of my favorite, favorite seasonings is Clubhouse and you can see I have different ones here. Today I'm gonna use smoldering smoked apple wood. How does that sound? And I also love the chipotle mango or the uh, barbecue chicken one. There's so many different flavors. So honestly, if you don't have uh, this one, you should try it from Walmart or most grocery stores carry it. Um, and uh, it's super amazing. It smells good, it tastes good. And again, it's versatile, this recipe, so you can use whatever seasoning. And I'm gonna use about, um, I would say about a teaspoon, okay? Just shake it on. Shake it on, baby. And I'm gonna just sprinkle on a little bit of some black pepper, because I always add a little, just a little, okay? Maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. And some onion powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, and I've got garlic powder. I'm gonna say about a good teaspoon and I'm just gonna start mixing this up, okay? And I like to just get my hands right into it and just add lots of garlic. I'm a garlic lover, okay? And that'll be amazing. Now, one thing that I forgot is some paprika. I love paprika in it, so I'm gonna just add, if I have smoked paprika, um, usually I'm well organized, but I didn't, I forgot it, and uh, that's okay, that's what happens, and again, I just like to use my hands and just get it all in. Now, sometimes I marinate this in advance, and if I know I'm gonna have it the night before or a few hours before, but honestly, it doesn't matter, it's still gonna taste good even if it's, a last minute decision to make it, all right? Now the other thing I'm gonna add is some or, um, Italian seasoning. Sometimes I use oregano, and I'm just gonna take it with my hands and I'm gonna say about a quarter of a teaspoon, all right? The other thing I really enjoy is some sesame oil in it. And for two teaspoons, just gonna put in, um, two teaspoons is three smart points for those of you that follow WW. So I'm just going to add that because that gives it another whole dimension, my friends. The other thing that I really like is this sugar-free syrup, or you could use sugar-free honey. And this is Joseph's, and I'm going to put in about a good heaping tablespoon. All right, and that's going to give it a nice shine and nice flavor 
and a little bit of stickiness. And then I have my bar guys barbecue sauce. So if you can find whatever sugar-free barbecue sauce that you have, I'm going to put in probably a couple of tablespoons should be enough. We'll start with two because it depends how much chicken you're making. Okay. So the only thing that you're really counting here is the, um, the sesame oil. And if you don't want to add that it's up to you my recipes are versatile so I like to just get my hands in and make sure you get both sides of the chicken and you can keep it in your fridge um, and the other thing too you could marinate this and put it in a baggie and um, have it and make it another time so it's already seasoned up and I'm telling you it smells uh, amazing so I will be back to show you the end result after my husband barbecues these delicious babies. I'm going to just put it in my fridge now for a few hours until um, he's ready to barbecue. And I will be back shortly. All right. See you soon. It's delicious. <laughs> hey, guys. It's me, Risa, and my husband, Brian. And he is out here making the chicken that looks amazing. Brian, can I taste the piece? Sure. So he's already tried it and he has given me the two thumbs up and we're gonna try it together. So what's your favorite part of it? Uh, the chicken. The spice. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's my video. Um, again, you can barbecue it like Brian has, and uh, you can grill it on a grill or bake it, and you can keep it in your freezer, eat it right away, serve it to company, have it for for lunch, for brunch, for dinner, okay? And uh, remember to, oh, there we go, here it is, all that delicious chicken. So don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe and share my channel with everybody. All right, love you guys, can you hold that? All right, bye for now. <laughs>